Hello, and welcome back to the Unbidden Guest. I'm here, unbidden, in uh, the Necromancer Isms quarters, and uh, we read his magic book, which summons a zombie as a trap. Which, if I had really been paying attention uh, to the dusty notes found in the Keeper's Place, we should have first dispelled the spell, not touching the book, but only the glyph. Dispelling the glyph, breaking the glyph, and then reading the book. Um, but, you know, Garrett, the uh, fool charging in as he does, just went and read the book instead of noticing there was a spell glyph trap which could be broken first. So I summoned a zombie unnecessarily. Whoops. I can deal with a zombie. Um, although, I can't so easily deal with the fact that it's kind of broken the lift. Well, maybe partly. I can. Let's uh, let's go. All right, woke him up, uh, and also got him out of the way. Stopped him blocking the lift. That's fine. Actually, it's maybe not because if it uh, breaks again while he's up there, I could be stuck forever. But what I missed last time, wandering around here, was this bloody blinding great lever on the wall that opens this door. Now. In my defense, there's been a lot of doors in this mission that are not doors, and so one more was kind of not terribly surprising. Let's bring that back down, so if it breaks, I can rope up instead of getting being trapped for good. So, the book was hidden below the earth. Um, I'm guessing in there. That looks quiet, you. I closed the door to shut up to quieten him up, but then I... Don't think I could get back uh, out again. <laughs> Although maybe I can just go over the wall. Oh. Oh, I'm here. Alright, so even if the lift is broken, I could get out again without any trouble. It's good to know. So I can actually shut him up. I don't think I need to go back there. And if I do, I can go the long way around. Still faintly here, but uh, not enough to to matter. Uh, oh, the players of the liar, right? The book said the players of the liar only respond to fire, which kind of rhymes. And also, there's a player of a liar. Illumin Let's illuminate the statue with fire in true. Uh, Keep a grotto fashion. Yes. Good, good. So this is where we're going to find the book, is it? I wonder what else we'll find. Ism himself, who will devour any? That's his book warned. Uh, that looks like is that jewels or is that holes? Those are holes. Are those traps? Another player is a liar. Which I don't have any more fire arrows for. Hazard. I'll run. Lower tombs. And the gate that seems pretty firmly stuck. Well, I guess the good news is there's not, doesn't seem to be a lot in the way of um, things trying to eat me here. Which is kind of a surprise. Yeah, that's that's uh, not not healthy. Um. Let's try that again and get out of the way, shall we? Uh, 
Aha. That was a player of the liar responding to fire. It's just the fire was not coming from my bow. I think I hear it back. This looks like a hard place to sneak through. Yeah, you're not kidding. Oh, that's not a barrack, it's a, a thing. Well, there's the book I need, right? How do I get it? It's too high. It's guarded. By a creature with the uh, voice of a barrack. And the movement of a bug beast. Is that Ism himself? Waiting to devour me? Do I have anything that looks useful? I'm gonna have a flash bomb. Which seems to do nothing. Let's let's not waste them then. Oh, is that is that wood? Hmm. Don't know if it's wood, but maybe it'll accept the rope. Let's try. It does accept the rope. Think he saw me. I don't think I care. I think I've got the book. Oh, I can get out. Oh, well, maybe I do care. Maybe. He seems quite upset now. I wonder if I can just kill him. Bark man. Maybe not. Maybe I can't. Wait. Well, he... Open that. Yeah, it's not going well, is it? gets up again. Uh, does he respond to flash bombs at all? Ow, I can't see. I mean, he gets momentarily blinded by them, but that's not the same thing. Why don't be so slow? Oh shit. I also opened this. Don't see me, alright? Well, uh, maybe we just leave that alone, shall we? I think that's probably a good idea. Well, 
I did waste my flash bombs. Um, I got the book of elsewhere, which is the uh, important thing. There it is, and I will take it elsewhere. Uh, so I could go back to the garden and get back to the start of this area much more easily that way. But that would involve going past that zombie and stuff again, so... Let's just detour through the keepers area here. And let's leave the dusty notes behind for them. Uh, this door? Oh, whatever, I don't remember. Oh no, that was the keeper's area. Was it? Is this just an old abandoned building? Yeah. Whatever, dusty notes, dusty notes can stay as well. I don't need them anymore. Right, yeah, so if I climbed over that wall, right at the start, you know, that's the... It's the garden, and that would have been the way out as well. So instead of worrying about the portal, I could have just gone out the way I came in, which maybe would have been the smarter move. But it's fine. Uh, now I've got to remember how I get into this part of town to begin with. Uh, through here, I believe. Yes, okay, that's the East Gate passages. And I don't think I can lock that again. Wait, I've got the East Gate key, right? East Gate key, yes. Yeah, let's uh, return things to where I found them. Why not? Oh. Speaking of uh, access to the ground level, there's a ladder here. So if I, if I ever actually need to, have I been in here? Doesn't look familiar. It's like a guard room. Ah, uh, I came out that window, didn't I? I guess I didn't explore. I didn't explore up here properly. Fence and a ledge. <sighs> you're in mechanist outfits, but you're chanting a very hammerite sound in your prayer there. Are you the Are you the one that was mentioned as being uh, still faithful to the Builder while in amongst these guys? Oh, it's too bright. I do not like that. Hmm. Oh, an open window over there. I don't know. Just a shutter, maybe. Well, you just kind of Stay indoors a fair amount of time. And that is the sound of his poetry. Right. Two statues. None of them playing the liar. Well, I could get across there with a rope. Not sure how I get back again. Have I ever let a thing like that uh, bother me? Of course not. Yeah, this villain. No, it's not even a door. Failed. I triggered an alarm. That's why you stay off the streets, Garrett. That's why you stay off the streets. And I uh, hope for ropes that aren't Consp conspiring to kill you. Ah! 
Maybe this is not such a good idea. Alright. It can work. With, oh, hang on. What? All that and it's not a door. Well, I am very annoyed because I saw it from a distance and it was clearly a door with a handle and all, right? Openable. So I came here. Only it's not a door. I guess I can mantle up here, but this looks like the top of the level. Uh, so all this seems... Whoops. Seems like I shouldn't be here. Where, where even is that security camera? Oh, it's a periscope one. Yeah, all right, so we made it across here for no purpose. Um, I have to jump back again, all right? At least that one's easier. Fine, whatever. Let's go uh, ruin these. These make us fun, shall we? There's actually someone there, so let's, let's check these areas. Right, so this is where I found the Eastgate key and the, and the note. Oh. There's also the note about... Um, there's the diamond cutter. The spare workshop key. On the fell from the window. So maybe I do need to get down to the ground level there. I was going to leave the stuff back here, but now that I've done with it, I'm going to leave the Eastgate key here. Because that, I don't need... Wow, that key is enormous. I guess the gates are pretty large, too. Alright, that stairs down. So, I think I'm going to need to visit the diamond cutters in order to access the chest plate of one of the... Uh, Mechanical Beasts, right? That's the one that's rusted shut. I don't know where the Diamond Cutters is, but uh, hopefully they're in the neighborhood somewhere. Oh, wait, is this the window that I... Which, which window is which? Wrong door, Garrett. Oh yeah, that's, this isn't the window that I got the key at. It's this one here. Because I was up over there and went through here, so... Let's steal from his safe. Absolute goal reached seventeen ninety one. Well, we'll see what we're dealing with, and maybe I have to come back after finding the diamond cutters. Perhaps that is the workshop. This is not a workshop, this is a storeroom where they keep their old hammerite doors that they no longer like and old bits of hammerite stained glass and uh, the old hammer mold, just, just the old junk they, uh, they no longer want. I'm surprised they uh, chuck it in a storeroom rather than throwing it out on the street, but uh, you know, it's fine. They didn't like have any actual golden hammer golden hammers here for me to borrow, did they? That they, did they have no further use for? I suppose not. Onwards. Nobody dropped anything useful under the stairs? Oh, 
workshop key. I don't need the spare one. Speaking of dropping things, useful things under the stairs, you know, you can sit there. You can come with me. No. Who are you? You can sleep. Dearest Emily, as you have asked, here are my impressions of this night at the Mechanist Ball as faithfully as I can record. First, the company. I was surprised how many who matter have turned up. Lord Bafford, Signor Raputo, a sinister character he seems, but very polite. Lady Verily, and even that insufferable old ghost Eustace Carlyle. Speaking of Carlyle, his niece was here, a lovely creature I've never seen before. Then the Mechanists. Our host was their general, a charming gentleman named Rudolphus. They say he was kicked out by the Hammerites because he was too forward-thinking. Imagine that. Well, Rudolphus was very nice and intelligent, speaking in a friendly manner about all sorts of things. How they are going to build carriages that run without horses, or those things which he called a rotator, if I recall correctly. Something that will chop off the limbs of the Baron's enemies. And something he will show us tomorrow, but he was very mysterious about that one. After he brought us to the chapel, a quaint little hall, you would like it very much. He showed us to our rooms, where normally their initiates sleep. Have no fear, it's all very well. A bit simple, perhaps, but clean and comfortable. I wonder where they bought such fine beds. My back feels even better than at home. Maybe I will ask the father tomorrow if you could point out their supplier. In any case, dear, so much for the first day. I will continue from here tomorrow. Well... The bed was not so comfortable that you uh, were sleeping without snoring, but uh, you were sleeping. There was nothing on top of that uh, cupboard, was there? No. Watch out for the metal on the floor there, Garrett. How about you? Finding the bed comfortable? All to your liking? It would appear. It would appear that that it is fine. Good. Wouldn't want the guests to get, uh, there we are, to be unhappy. And not a door as far as I can see, unless, you know, now that we've already established that some not doors in this mission are actually doors and merely have levers. Now, I could go out there for the spare workshop key, but I have a workshop key that I pickpocketed, so I don't need the spare one. That's not the one. This one. Good, good. Oh. Do they have security in here? Seems like they might have security in here. Hello. So these are their metal beasts, is it? Terrifying sights to any thief, I would imagine. Well, well, well. Um, I, want I think I should not put any in until I'm ready to put all of them in. Yeah, that's the one that's stuck. Oh, it's just got blue eyes. How cute. I like this. I mean, I was all prepared to find, um, despite the talk of chess plates, I was all prepared to find the, just the standard mechanist uh, uh, combat bots. But uh, no, it's an entirely new creation. Very, very low poly, but that's what you expect, and mechanists are dealing with very primitive technology at the moment. I mean, high technology by this world's standards, but... Uh... Oh, I'm hearing the... Oh, I see this... Oh, that's just a piece. So this is the other side. It's a strange box there. Okay. And, uh... 
stuff I don't need. Alright, I'm going to need to find the diamond cutters. Did he mention where it was? Uh, chest plate is stuck. Sturdy chisel to break it free. Maybe the diamond cutter could be of help. Skynes, it doesn't say where he is. Where the diamond cutter's house is. Alright, now I have another question on my mind. Can I. Can't turn out a light here. Well, that's just where I was before, right? I was going to say, can I knock those guys out and get out there without setting off the camera? And the answer is, it's probably going to be pretty hard. Let's stay on the rooftops, I think. Uh, that's not the rooftop door. This is the rooftop door. So, well, there is a door I have not been to, but I have been above it, so I think we should go and try and check that out. I love this uh, wooden planks over here, it's very nice. Careful, careful. Right, we're going to need a rope here, I think. Storing lots of stuff in there uh, in the room up here, but um, you're not going to mind me coming in, are you? Hmm. You're going to see me if I go over there. Aren't you? Who's there? Hello. Hello? I guess it was nothing. Hello? Hello? Yeah, hit points. Oh, that's... Oh, these are the mechanists. Sorry, these are the guests of the mechanists. This is the inn that they were inviting them to. And that is the, uh, the rare wine they were going to uh, auction. Cool. But, you know, I think, uh... Can someone get him? Mm. Ah, body. Help! Help! Shh. It's alright. It's alright. It's just a common everyday, you know, thief. You guys can sleep in a pile there. Look, I need the bread, alright? I don't know why I need it. I just feel compelled. So I think out this door is the street, right? No. Yes. It is the street. But not somewhere I need to go. No, it's not the back door of the place. This is the front door. Alright, right. Okay. Um... All right, well, this is then an interesting place to be. But I don't think it's a place I need to be. It's not the diamond cutters, it's the pub. Maybe I should try it up there. Although I think I've been up there. I guess that works. Maybe this is the diamond colors. By accident. 
found an open window. And he was getting spotted by uh, one of their security devices. I can't, I don't know which because I can't see them. They're almost invisible. So I hope there's another way out of here. Not this door. Ah, do you drop with glasses? And another workshop key. Okay, so somebody found the spare workshop key, I see. As predicted. But so it's not that I would have needed to find it on the streets. Someone else found it. But am I getting seen by by something out through these windows? I don't know how. But this is a good a good reason why the um, cameras were re uh, designed. And thief two, because these these periscope ones are basically invisible. Can I get over here? I mean, not really what I intended. Good. I think this is not going to go well, so I'm not going to save. Unless I can easily get back. Okay, I can easily get back. Good. All right. I did not. I didn't really want to have to uh, save scum my way out of that. I mean, I took some damage, but uh, not enough to matter. Not with all that bread and cheese. Thankfully, thoughtfully provided by this place. All right. Me. So going up there is the wrong place to go. Let's head back up here. <sighs> right, so I went this way because this is where I got the East Gate key and the note from initially, initially right? So where is the diamond cutters? Place. I thought I haven't I been over the entire city up this way. Um, that's a guard post I've been to. Uh, this is the way I came in, I think. Uh, not like that, Garrett. Not like that. Don't do that. Did I just... Oh, phew. It was still saying save successful on the screen, and for some reason I thought I'd just saved as I was falling to my death, which would have been, uh... Let's say... Ignominious. All right, so there's how I get to the streets. Let me just make a hard save here, in case this is a very bad idea. But let's go down to the streets here. Oh! Oh, this is the this is exactly where I was. This is just the, the inn. Oh, so there's an even easier way up from the inn than I thought. Okay. Fine. So where's the diamond cutter's place? I mean, that's... This leads me to the mechanist seminary. Is that a door that I can open? Can't tell. Let's go back and have a look and take a look from further back. A better angle. Uh, it does not look like a door I can open. I 
There's this I can climb on, but I don't think it'll do me any good. There's a vent here that does not open. There is, of course, this famous building here. With a door that doesn't... There's not a door. With two doors that are not doors. It's upper and lower. You know, it looks very much like a place, but it's not. What? I'm going to say, what is that about the door? It's just the texture. It's a rock. I mean, there's the shutters. Maybe some of those shutters are supposed to open. Seems improbable, but uh, not impossible. And that door on the street level there. Is that a, not a door? Or is that actually a door? But we went in there and went down, so that would have just been the door to the lower floor that we're already in. Right, that's the front door of the pub. Um, okay, I am confused now, and the stream seems to be hmm, having troubles. All right, um, the diamond cutters is reportedly back in this direction. Careful, Garrett. Face north and look down. Oh, right. Not, 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 not that. Not like that, Garrett. This is apparently the diamond cutters here. A balcony that's near invisible and a door that does not look like an actual openable door because it has no handles. And many of the doors that have handles look openable. Well, I'll probably need to go back up there, but I can do that later. So here we should find with any luck the tool that we need. And just go back to sleep on your bed. Nice. What's a key? Diamond cutter's key, alright. What's in his chest? So loot, healing potion. And uh, I can't actually lean forward. Can I grab the hammer or not? I guess not. Alright, so I would be able to get out onto the streets, I imagine. Do you keep anything under your stairs, good sir? No. Nobody ever does. Chisel! The chisel I need. I don't think I need the glass tools. Hello. Time cutter's key. Might be useful here. Not the workshop key. Oh, that's the front door of his shop. Okay. And let's just... I saw this door and thought it didn't wasn't a door, right? It's definitely not a door. Good, good. Yeah, there's nothing really to mark this shop as anything special. So I guess this is... Oh yeah, this is just the front of his shop, okay. Hello, he's left some coins here. I'll take those. Uh, well, I've got the chisel. Oh, he's got a safe. Does his key also open the safe? Does not, let's do it, do it the hard way. Would you look at these shinies? Very nice. You know what? We should probably uh, have a... Uh, for robbing his place blind. Leave a... Uh, false trail of evidence. For them to find. Oh, and he never left his... The key never left his bedside. 
All right, we've got the chisel. Oh wait, speaking of false trail of evidence, you know, if the chisel alone is missing, there might be some suspicion. Oh, the chisel alone is missing and misplaced. You know, people just threw things around. Nobody's going to notice the chisel missing if the diamonds are missing and the tools are all moved. It's just like uh, the thieves broke in, rummaged through everything. All right. Let's just go back. Be very careful on this much too thin brush. There we are. I think I'm standing on it now. Um, back to the hammerites. Mechanists. Sorry, the the new the new guys, not the old guys. Who was it that had the workshop key? Actually, speaking of alibis, I think this guy just went indoors for a nap, right? They'll probably find him sleeping on the job. Is there a bed? There is. It's probably not even his bed, he'll probably get in double trouble. The workshop was halfway down the stairs. Uh, explosives, no, diamond, chisel, chisel. Alright, let's, uh, do what we came here for. Oh, no one's ever going to find that there, are they? Uh, actually, before that, I have a workshop key and a note to return. Oh, they just found the workshop key there. You, sir. Hmm. Yeah, that's that's not. Uh... Maybe maybe you just fainted from all your exhausting preaching. Yeah, that's what happened. Nothing like an explosion in the workshop is not going to be suspicious at all. And the note, the note, I must return the note. There shall be no evidence leading back to, uh... Garrett. Here we are. Uh, right. I mean, all the food is gone. Food gets eaten and does not constitute evidence. So let's start putting these, uh, explody boys in here. What? Ah. There's a very specific one for each one, okay? That's fine. Alright, that's the last one. Hmm. I should lock the workshop again. Never mind. Someone careless got in there. They'll, they'll suspect nothing, right? Uh, so, return to the starting point is all we need to do now. Carrot. Thank you. Return to the starting point is all we need to do, he says. Can you even remember where the starting point is? It's, well, it's over in this part of town somewhere. Shouldn't be too hard to find. Oh, where's this ladder go? Huh, I never noticed that. Well, actually, that's where the archer was, right? That's. Well, did I climb up this ladder? Maybe I did climb up it. Oh, 
All right, we're almost back to the uh, bell tower. Just uh, here we are. We could go to bed, but I think we need to go back to the bell tower. Mission success. All right, uh, we didn't draw any undue attention to myself, just uh, got the attention of some undead. Uh, we drew undead attention, yeah. Um, that was the unbidden guest. Missed about 500 loot. No secrets. Bodies discovered by enemies, one. Others killed three. What? Are you counting the zombie or the other guy that I killed? Does he count more than once? Oh, I don't know. That's fine. Um, yes, so that was the Unbidden Guest. And uh, thanks so much for watching. And I hope you'll join me here for the next mission.